Hello and welcome back to this course. My name is Sijesh and this video we will see how to implement column masking in Unity Catalog enabled Databricks workspace. So first uh, uh, prerequisite is we need to have a cluster and uh, which is in the shared mode. So the single access mode doesn't support so you need to have the cluster which is in um, shared access mode. Uh, the next is like uh, so we can create the notebook okay so let me go ahead and create a new notebook here in my and uh, just uh, write uh, rename this as a the notebook name as like column masking okay and uh, which is of type uh, SQL so we can choose uh, the catalog and schema so in our case like we have already created the catalog and schema in our previous demo so we'll be using the same uh, here like uh, so the use catalog i mean we are entering into this catalog and again the use schema means we are going inside this schema so let's go ahead and execute this okay so this is the catalog and this is the schema so that is completed and uh, what we are doing here is like uh, so we are going to create a function uh, which is which we use for masking and the function logic okay the function basically uh, kind of an if else if condition then else uh, that uh, form okay so the first part is uh, self-explanatory it's something like uh, i'm creating or replacing a function with this name and this is the argument which i'm passing so basically this will be my column value which i will be passing and uh, return if then this is the condition check and if the condition is true then the value will be this one so this value means whatever the value we pass as it is if not that is the else statement will return this means uh, for uh, star okay so let's uh, go ahead and execute this and uh, create the function called a simple mask okay so this is the simplest uh, form and uh, let's just uh, grant this execute permission to this function okay so use the grant execute on function whatever the function name to account user means any user in this uh, unity catalog enable workspace this is the group and this uh, all the user will be in this group and uh, let's uh, just uh, refresh and see that function here okay so you can see uh, this is a function simple mask and uh, so we have given the permission and the function definition is here and this is the permission for account user means anyone who is having access uh, to this workspace will be able to execute this one so next is uh, we'll uh, create some uh, sample uh, table okay then uh, for that uh, we'll just use a create table then if not exist patient underscore SSN okay then we will write uh, something like a patient name then uh, which is of type a string okay and uh, the next is uh, SSN social security number so that's of a type string and uh, we use a mask here and what is the function we want to use this is the mask function we want to use here right and uh, we'll have to close this and uh, use the semicolon okay so here i'm defining um, a table with the two column so first column as a simple a string which is a patient name second uh, column name is ssn which is of type string but here i have added additional properties it's a mask and whatever the mask function which i use then execute this one 
okay so that is executed so what this function will do is if uh, i'm member of us admin then it will uh, print the value as it is else it will print star so let's uh, do a select star from uh, then uh, what is this table so what is the ta table okay the patient assessment so let me just execute that and execute oh sorry uh, I need to add some values here okay so let me uh, insert some values to this table okay we just define the table it doesn't have any values so let's go ahead and insert two values okay so this two rows has inserted okay let's uh, go ahead and uh, do a select star from this table and see the result See now you can see this SSN value is showing a star. So that means I'm not a, in my my user ID. Okay, uh, it when I when I execute this one, it will do uh, ex execute this function against that column. Okay, so the column is uh, SSN for the SSN column. It will check if I am member of this group, then only the actual value. Otherwise, this star. So we will uh, validate the same from other user, okay? So which uh, is already a member of that group, okay? Let's just uh, see that account here, okay? So US admin is the group, okay? If you go to the Unity catalog account menu, so you can see that group US admin. So US admin has one user called training, okay? So my ID, uh, which I executed, uh, doesn't have okay so this is my id does not a member of that group so we will just use that uh, account which is already a member of that so go to that account and uh, create a new uh, notebook maybe from this user uh, training okay just to create a new notebook then it's of uh, type sql Okay, by default it's python change it to sql and uh, connect to the cluster okay so we'll use the same shared cluster and uh, uh, we have to use uh, this again this statement that means we are going inside that uh, catalog or schema or else you can use this catalog name dot schema then we can use uh, so we will use that uh, same uh, the select statement okay so this select statement when i execute from this console okay then it should list all the entries as it is because when i execute this one that function uh, that masking function will validate and it will check so okay i'm the member of that group so it will return actual value so this way uh, you can use this uh, define this function and uh, that function can be used as a masking function and again uh, instead of uh, this star you can use some other functions like uh, you can call this mask function to modify this okay so this may not be looking good so you can modify that and that also uh, you, you can do okay so maybe uh, just uh, I'm just uh, changing that uh, function okay so let me just change this function one more time and see the same function okay the simple mask then maskable parameter so instead of a column value okay that is fine then the simple mask the same same name and uh, is account of uh, i think uh, the group we can again instead of bu admin just us admin itself then i'm just calling the function mask and using this option okay so i'm changing that existing function that's it 
then if I execute this one more time so instead of this uh, 3 star uh, this uh, will print the value in a different format okay so this is all based on the value that we pass like similarly uh, we can use uh, this one like uh, different uh, ways okay the mask function you can see in the documentation and uh, you can modify that so that it will display in different way otherwise you can use the default simple star but uh, it will always print uh, four stars irrespective of the size of that value here okay so this way you can uh, use this column function without using that uh, dynamic uh, view hope it's very clear thank you for watching this video we will see in the next video bye